One. What time will the flight leave? This is an announcement for all passengers on the 10:35 flight to Rome, flight number BA934. We regret that due to engine problems, there will be a one-hour delay. The new departure time will be 11:35. Please wait in the departure lounge until you're called. Now listen again. This is an announcement for all passengers on the 10:35 flight to Rome, flight number BA934. We regret that due to engine problems, there will be a one-hour delay. The new departure time will be 11:35. Please wait in the departure lounge until you're called. Two. Which is the photo of the girl's father? Have I shown you this amazing old photo of my father I found the other day? Let's see. Wow! Is that really him? <laughs> yes, it is. He had a lot of hair in those days, didn't he? And he didn't wear glasses like he does now. Now listen again. Have I shown you this amazing old photo of my father I found the other day? Let's see. Wow! Is that really him? <laughs> yes, it is. He had a lot of hair in those days, didn't he? And he didn't wear glasses like he does now. Three. What must the woman wear at work? I have to wear a uniform at work. It's an ordinary white dress with short sleeves and an open neck. It's also got a blue belt. It's quite nice. Now listen again. I have to wear a uniform at work. It's an ordinary white dress with short sleeves and an open neck. It's also got a blue belt. It's quite nice. Four. Where will they sit in the theatre? Hello. I'd like to book a couple of tickets for tonight's show. We don't want to sit too near the stage. We were at the front last time we went, and it was too near the actors. We'd like to be about halfway back. Oh, and. To one side, not in the centre. Now listen again. Hello, I'd like to book a couple of tickets for tonight's show. We don't want to sit too near the stage. We were at the front last time we went, and it was too near the actors. We'd like to be about halfway back. Oh, and to one side, not in the centre. Five. How did the woman cook the onions? Hmm. Th these onions are lovely. How did you cook them? They're not fried, surely. They must be grilled or baked. I've never heard of grilling onions. Or maybe you boiled them. I just put them in the oven. It's the best way, actually. Now listen again. Hmm. Th these onions are lovely. How did you cook them? They're not fried, surely. They must be grilled or baked. I've never heard of grilling onions. Or maybe you boiled them. I just put them in the oven. It's the best way, actually. Six. What will the man buy? I'm just going out for a newspaper. Can I get you anything? It's Sarah's birthday today. I've got her a card, but can you buy her some flowers or some chocolate? She'd prefer a nice plant. I'll get that. Okay then. Now listen again. I'm just going out for a newspaper. Can I get you anything? 
It's Sarah's birthday today. I've got her a card, but can you buy her some flowers or some chocolate? She'd prefer a nice plant. I'll get that. OK, then. Seven. How will they travel to Edinburgh? Are you going to take the train up to Edinburgh? We've booked tickets on the coach, actually. We wanted to drive up there, but we've been having problems with the car and we can't afford to fly. Now listen again. Are you going to take the train up to Edinburgh? We've booked tickets on the coach, actually. We wanted to drive up there, but we've been having problems with the car and we can't afford to fly. You will hear someone talking to a group of students about a visit to an arts centre. For each question, put a tick in the correct box. You now have 45 seconds to look at the questions for part two. <laughs> right, everyone. About the trip to the Jubilee Arts Centre next Wednesday. As you know, we have tickets for the centre's two theatres and the concert hall. Those of you with concert tickets will hear piano music by Chopin and Schumann. Those with tickets for the main theatre will see Shakespeare's Twelfth Night, while people going to the smaller theatre will see The Wild Duck by Ibsen. Although all the theatre and concert tickets have gone, if anyone else would like to join us on the trip, I can get tickets for the Art Centre Cinema to see the Australian comedy film Spider and Rose. The shows begin at half past seven, but we'll leave early so you can spend time looking round the Art Centre. The coach will leave here at 3.30 and arrive at the Art Centre at about a quarter to five. Let me tell you what you can do there. The centre has a lot for art lovers. In the art gallery, there's an exhibition of the history of Russian ballet. It has dresses and shoes worn by famous dancers and photos of past performances. With your student card, you can get in very cheaply. There are also some interesting free exhibitions. On the ground floor, you can see prize-winning paintings from a children's competition and gold jewellery made by Scottish artists. On the first floor, there's an exhibition of South American photographs, and there's no charge for that either. I know some of you hope to do some shopping. The centre has a bookshop on the first floor, and there's a souvenir shop by the ticket office. If you're more interested in clothes and shoes, there's a large shopping centre, five minutes' walk from the art centre. You'll probably want to eat before the show. The Balcony Restaurant has a menu with a wide range of meals and waiter service, but it is rather expensive. Or there's the Fountain Restaurant, whose special three-course dinner is good value for money. There's also Charlie's Coffee Bar, which serves coffee, sandwiches and cakes. You can get fruit juices and ice cream from the cinema kiosk. After the shows, the coach will pick us up at the Bridge Street exit. Everyone should be there by 20 past 10. The two plays will finish at around 10.10 10 or 10.15. I'm afraid concert goers will have to wait as the concert finishes earlier at 10 to 10.
Welcome to the Sunnington Sports Camp. Before you divide into groups, I'd like to give you some information about the plans for this week. During your time here, you will play at least 12 different sports. In the mornings, there is a planned programme, but we offer you a choice of afternoon activity. You need to sign a list before midday today saying which sport you'd like to do. The list is on the wall outside the changing room. Now, clothes. You can wear your tracksuit for most sports, although you should also remember to bring shorts and a t-shirt each day as well, in case it's hot. We do both outdoor sports and indoor activities, so please make sure you have two pairs of sports shoes with you too. Lunch is served in the canteen at half-hour intervals between 12.15 and a quarter to two. Your group leader will tell you what time to start queuing outside the canteen. We also have a snack bar where you can buy drinks, chocolate and biscuits, but a word of warning don't eat too much at a time, or you won't be able to run as fast. At the end of the course, you will get a certificate at one of six levels. We give you marks each day for a number of things. First, we look at your attitude. This includes things like effort, working as part of a team, and so on. Then we give you marks for your performance, your strength and speed, as well as your actual skill in each sport. All these marks go towards your final score, which is out of 200. The Level 6 certificate goes to anyone who gets 180 marks or more. Now, any questions?